Okay, so English version of the same topic we just went through in Finnish. Uh, Power BI visual calculations, new feature that came out with the latest release of the Power BI desktop. Uh, oh, it has enough battery for this, this session. I don't, I don't know why, why the charger is not, not working. Uh, new feature that came out uh, like last week. And what it tries, it's a feature in Power BI desktop, tries to solve a problem where if, if we need calculations that would make more sense on the data set or visual data set level, it, we don't have currently an option or we, before this feature, we didn't have an option to do like DAX calculations on top of DAX calculations. What I mean is that if someone asked that, could you create this type of visual? Yes. It probably was possible to do, but it was very complex because you needed to take care of all the user interactions and possible user interactions in your in your visual. And now visual calculations are something that you can apply DAX statements on top of already executed DAX dataset. So kind of two phase uh, process where you pick up a visual, create that, like you have always done. That executes executes a statement against the model and returns a dataset. Then you have rows and columns and numbers and texts in those rows and columns. Then you can apply now new calculations on top of that. And how it works, uh, we will see shortly. There are some uh, limitations on the on this feature as of now, some of them are going away, but as of now, it doesn't work on, on all the visual types. There are some performance things and then uh, some filtering and all those those kind of kind of other limitations you can you can view from the documentation. Uh, but if we look at the feature itself, uh, we have here just the standard adventure work data set with uh, sales measure, sale sum of sales amount, and then I have uh, year, quarter and month on the on the y axis and on the x axis I have currencies. And I would like to do calculations on top of on top of this one. So here is a new button, new calculation, which if not visible in your power Bay desktop, can be enabled from the file properties uh, and preview features, and from there, visual calculation is the new preview feature you would like to enable. When I click this new calculation, uh, it asks me about the name of the calculation. So we will call this as a first demo example, sales times two, x2. And uh, we, we, then we will kind of create our statement. If I take a square bracket, I can I can see all the columns from the data set that this visualization provides. So no longer do I have measures, no longer do I have like other tables or something. These are just columns or on, on this data set. So I can take a sales column, which was sales measure when we created this data set. And for example, multiply that by two. And then it will be added as a value on the visualization. And it's double the time of the sales column. This is this, this uh, visual calculation measure is available only in this visual calculation. It's not available anywhere else. And as of now, you cannot copy them from visual to visual. So basically, you have to recreate them every time you you need it. Also, some of these measures could be like helping measures. So they can be hidden if you click that icon. So they are not visible on the actual visual, but they still are behind the scenes. So you can kind of use that as a, your vehicle to, to execute more complex measures. Uh, then we have 
some windowing functions. So if I click a new calculation, and let's call this as a previous, not that it's a good name, but because it's easier to then see on, on the list that what we have done, uh, there are functions like previous, next, and some others that where you kind of can reference in this data set to previous elements. I'm saying elements because let's now see if I take a previous of sales one step behind axis rows then blanks and, and reset. I'm not interested in those as of now, but I will create this. So now the previous is always the previous from there. So if you look this previous, that, 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 uh, sorry, this one, this one, this one, this one. It's the previous row in the data set. But as this is now no longer like standard DAX data set, it's a table data set table. I can also reference that as a previous column. So then this previous is actually the kind of in the column context, 107, 107, 70, 70, 113, 113. So kind of it's no, this was before this feature. It was very hard to reference other columns within the same same data set. So now kind of this is easy. You can just travel travel up or down, left or right, and you can do both. So columns or rows or columns rows or rows columns, which basically this icon describes it very well that you go first from left to right, then to the next row, and from left to right, if that kind of visualization is something where you want to show some, something like, uh, like that. Those are the axes or, or di directions you can, you can choose. Uh, then, let's try to make this work again. Like this. Uh, then there was the next one, which was the, all the kind of aggregation functions built in. So, so mo most common, calculations have been added here as a separate uh, built-in function, which do not work in the standard DAX calculations, but only in visual calculations, which is, for example, the running sum. So running sum is from sales with rows. And then if I blanks and reset, keep, keep, uh, do not use them. Uh, is a running sum, it's just a running sum going forward. So now every row is kind of been added on top of the previous row. I could modify this one so that instead of kind of ever going, going bigger and bigger, I could reset this at the first level or any level in this visualization. So then basically it means that here when year changes, this is level one, this running sum will start from the from the scratch. So when 2009 starts, it will start from scratch. So kind of you can define that, yes, create me a running sum, but reset this on certain level. There are built in functions like highest parent and lowest parent, which reference on this data set the up most top layer or the most bottom layer. So kind of to help you if, if that's that's needed, but, but you can also define it like like the number of the of the level. Then uh, we also have a collapse function. Which helps you when you need to combine like grand totals or, or mid level sums or something mid level totals or something like that. And it works in a way that if I let's call this collapse this column and and I will use collapse from sales rows and one 
as, as a level, it will show me here that it will go up, like up until the year ends, and then it will start from the from from the scratch, like you can you can see see from from here. And if I make this instead of one, let's make them in more detailed level. So two, then you can see that this is like same up until here, and then it changes. Now I'm a bit lost that why it's collapsed to did I put it because it makes no sense. Rose second put it, put it back to one. Now it's this one whenever it changes here it's same again here it's same again. Yes, now now it makes more sense again. So this is now the quarter. So one, if I would put zero here, it would be the month level. So the lowest level. Okay, it doesn't allow me anymore to do put, to do zero, but that would be kind of reset everything. One is to reset at quarter level. Two is to reset at at yearly level. So it goes from from kind of this. This is layer zero this is layer one and this this is layer layer two so now it it runs same number as long as year is same and then it changes when the year year changes so kind of running or collapse you can use to shrink do the same thing as you would do when you shrink this so that you get the number at the higher level and reference that one if you need that in your calculation. There is also a version of the collapse, which is collapse all, which doesn't take this measure because it's always every layer, and then it collapses all the way to the up most highest level. So now it's always the same 45 million because that's the that's the total. So it's it's kind of same as shrinking all those plus icons to the minus icons. But I kind of multiple different ways to travel on the data set we have already calculated. So if you have a like a calculations that could be done when the on the visual, you can kind of see that, hey, I, I want these two numbers to be summed together and then divide it by the third one or, or this group of numbers that I can calculate. You can now you now have an option to do more calculations on the data set that we have already calculated to create the visual data, visual visualizations, data behind the visualization. Perfect. So that's that was this week's session very cool feature and I hope that it's valuable for you.